doesn't look pretty that does it but this is at the allotment and that's the water butt where I rot weeds and the roots of weeds as well I use it as a liquid feed now I've never had it analysed for its NPK content but just using my eyes looking at the plants that I feed it with it's got something in it it works it definitely works when you compare it against those plants that I never give this liquid feed to so there's some benefit to it and also it's a really good way of getting rid of the roots of things like pine weed and dandelions which I don't really want to put in my compost heap so right now I'm going to use that liquid feed on the potato that I'm growing in nothing but grass cuttings in that bucket there's entirely just grass cuttings and one seed potato there isn't even a bit of soil in the bottom of the bucket so it's got roots on it and the, you know the, the chicks are starting to grow in the grass so we'll, we'll see how that goes that strawberry looks like it's getting ready to me oh yes they're only small but they are what they are Three basils started from seed and the label tells me the 15th of April um, that is a bit bigger and then we've got that one there and what I've done is I've put them in the growing greenhouse at the allotment just in front of the sweet peppers and chilli peppers so we'll see how they do while I'm in here actually let's have a little look at this one because I've noticed there's a few flowers that have, have gone, been and gone, and yes, we're getting chilies for me. Oh yeah, look at that! We're getting chilies, and that's that's a KN, and this one where's the label? They're both KNs, so they look like they're in front compared to the others. Some have got flowers on, some of the plants, some haven't. Oh, got a little pepper form in there. Oh, that's amazing. What, which one's that? That's an aster, aster pepper. Can you see that? I'd say it's just a bit smaller than the, the end of my thumb. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Oh, progress. Right, love it, love it. Right, for the last few minutes, Ruby went off by herself and she looked very busy. So I've come over to find out what you're doing, Ru. What, what's going on, Ru? Basically, they were rescuing the wood chip path and the paths that are around the raised beds on yes. the allotment and i have found loads of runners of strawberries now if you look carefully there's quite a lot of strawberries on them but i don't want them to get trodden on or okay oh yeah because I want them. so they they were growing in the wood chip on the paths yes. were they okay so i'm planting them up you're putting them up i've got one ready now. oh fantastic so you know you you can leave, leave that there for now or you could cut it off or you could put that in a separate pot i don't know it's entirely up to you <laughs> all right well you're doing a great job Thank so you got a bag of compost you got some pots plenty of runners that you've uh, rescued oh good on you Roo. well done mate those mate um we grow it and we preserve it and then we cook of it but the girls call it the spiky herb because when i use it like this even though it gets cooked um it's still a bit on the spiky side so i think what i'm going to do is with my pestle and mortar i'm going to turn um what's in there and then the the other bits as well that we've had drying in the kitchen i'm going to turn it into a powder i think and then we'll still get the rosemary in the cooking, but it, it won't have the spikiness of it. It will be a powdered form, so we get all the benefits of the flavour, and hopefully the girls will eat it more. What did you just say, Ruby? <laughs> <laughs> say it again. Bye-bye, Spikies. Bye-bye, Spikies. <laughs> all right, so let's get all this out of here. There's a silicon sachet in there somewhere. All right, just throw the sachet in the jar. And if you just get an handful, I think, or a three fingered pinch. Right, I'm pretty sure there is a technique to use one of these. Um, and really, I suppose I should look on YouTube. 
I should know better, shouldn't I? I should look on YouTube, but I'm just gonna like rub it in a circle. Seems to do the job. Rather than doing that, I suppose, you just rub it in a circle. <laughs> right, is that, can we see in there? Is that working yet? Yeah? Oh yeah, yeah, it's, it's starting to, bits of it are starting to go. I've got all these sticks here, and these were just on the floor where I parked my car at work. So I've been sticking them in the car. It must have looked a bit weird, like, but what, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to chip them because we need this kind of stuff on the paths at the allotment in between all the raised beds. So. a bit scary. <laughs> I, th I think I might hold on to him as I put him in because he was jumping around all over the shop. Right, let's, let's do it different. Right, there's bits of stick all around here, isn't there? <laughs> right, let's try it again. So putting safety first, which I suppose if you like having all your fingers and all your eyes intact, you should always do. But we came up with a new system of doing this. I've got a metal dustbin lid and as my daughter was feeding the sticks in I was putting the lid on top like a shield to stop them all flying out everywhere then the finished product we took to the allotment and just threw onto what used to be a fully wood chip path but as you can see all the grass and weeds are growing through it now Ruby has got a nice little uh, container of soft fruits going on there. Do you want to tell us what's in it, Ru? So there's two white strawberries that are meant to be white, they're not just unripe. And then there's raspberries, red currants, and we've been putting some black currants in. Yeah, now not all of these black currants are ready, but you're picking off the ones that are, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Okay, if there's a manky one, just throw it in the compost bin. Yeah, yeah. there you go. Right, let's get some, let's get some black currants. Oh, there's loads over here. Oh, yeah, look at all them. So what are you going to do with them, do you think? Um, we think that we're going to make a smoothie. Mmm. I dare you to put kale in it as well. No. <laughs> no, because then that'll make it like a brownie colour. No, no well, nice. green. Like, mm. sick. Oh, yeah. Not in a good way, sick. <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm only messing. Don't put kale in it. Who would do that with fruit? <laughs> There's a time and a place for a kale smoothie, isn't there? Mm hmm Certainly not with us. Yeah, ma'am. So, while Ruby's picking fruit, I am pulling up these garlics. They're, they're well ready, but here's the ones I've already done. have got a decent size on them. These were overwintered garlics. I'm just getting up the rest of them. Um, and then, you know, once the, all these garlics are out of just one bed, I think that will be the last of our overwintered garlics, I think. I and mean, if I quickly weed it, we're in a position where I can plant something else. Um, and if I remember, I brought up some dwarf bean seeds. So we could put some dwarf beans into here, perhaps. I think they'd fill that bed nicely. Yeah. Which, as well, would fit in with the way I do the crop rotation. So the roots, um, the garlic come under the root crops, and then the next one I do is legumes, which will be the beans. So yeah, that's that's worked out really good, that. Video takeover. I'm now gonna just be vlogging some random stuff because Dad said he couldn't be bothered, but we need some content for you people, okay? So I'm gonna now be filming a few bits. I'm in the potting greenhouse, and I'm just gonna show you around a little bit. These are the potatoes. I don't know what we're going to do with them. We might save them until next year because they have already gone chitin, but we've not used them and some of them are a bit wrinkly. But that's fine because we can sort them out or do something with them. Oh yeah. These are the white, that's the white silver chard, I think, and it was going on the 1st of March. 
so it's going quite well. Um, not that good actually, but we'll have to sort something out with that one. Um, <laughs> these don't have labels that I can read, so I think this is a leaf one, but I'm not too sure. Um, yeah, I think that's a leaf I'll go and check with Dad in a couple of minutes. These are pelagoniums, they're very, very big. I think they're both crisp and pelagoniums. Um, this one doesn't look like it's doing so good. Neither does this one, but this one looks better than that one. So yeah, that's good. And then here, they are all the stuff that we used to grow stuff in, but we don't anymore. So we'll have to sort them out somewhere and put them somewhere. And then getting ready for this is very, very, very upsetting. But it happens and we don't hide stuff from you. So I'm just gonna show you it by need. I know awful we're gonna get rid of it don't worry um we might not do that today but we'll, we'll do that soon so yes these are the foot strawberry plants that i rescued and um they're not doing well well they are no sorry they are doing well but one that was there the purple one the plant completely disappeared so we've moved the pot and got rid of the compost onto all of this soil so yeah um, that's what we've done with these strawberries. They're doing very well actually. I'm really happy with them. Let's go to the pond. As if by magic, I'm already here. And as you can see, if you can see, I don't know if you can see. Let me bravely move all this. Um, there is frogs that keep popping up. There was one on the surface. I don't know if you saw it. If you saw it, comment that you saw it because you probably won't believe me that there was just a frog on there, but there was. And we're gonna have seed pods here, so I'll need to move them. I made a sign a couple of a couple, maybe like a month ago now for the allotment. And um sorry, I'm pulling up all the weeds and well the grass that's overgrown at the sides and um it's doing quite well. Um ignore all these, they just grow. I need to put more paint on them, but they're okay, it's where we banged in. Um, these are all the wood chips that we've just made. They're very, very, very good actually. Ready? New. Old. New. Old. All oh, the chards. Um, I think these are the Swiss chards. Um, the rainbow chards, actually. Um, that. Look at the yellow one. It's very, very vibrant. 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 Look at the white one. Oh my gosh. Look how big the leaves are. That definitely looks good. That's we thought we could escape our smoothie, but oh no, 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 no! I'm picking them. And I'm gonna eat one. Shh, don't tell me if you're that. Mmm, very, very, very nice. Get a couple more, and then um, it's gonna run my mouth. <laughs> so I'm gonna go and quickly wipe my face before this is. Bye, Ruby, I'm low count. Ready to go and get a baby wipe to wipe her face. There we are. Much, much, much better. Um, totally didn't just eat lots and lots of raspberries and get them around my mouth. But yeah, yeah, I've been eating them. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops! I've got all these potatoes are growing. Let's. I'm slacking a bit, so yeah, I'm walking away from the pot. But I'm gonna walk back now, and I'm gonna do a bit of weeding. So yeah, I'm not gonna do that much weeding. I'm just gonna do this little section here where all the strawberries are. Not all of them, but quite a bit of them. Right, I'm just gonna do a bit more weeding, and then. Once I finish weeding, I'll quickly go and take some nice pictures of the flowers. So I have just come over here in the shade for a bit and um, I'm just going to show you what I've just seen on the house leaks. It looks like the foot about to flower. We've never seen them that big. Normally they're just about there, but look how big they are. Hmm, they're really cool. I've just found a snail and when I was little, um, I used to keep pet snails, not proper ones, I just find them in the garden and put them in a shoebox and feed them and water them. But I used to let them race at my legs and I've only found one, but I just thought I'd show you. I don't know how I used to be able to do that because it feels incredibly weird. So I've stopped now and I'm going to let the snail go and I'll let Shelly go on the rhubarb patch. That's a rhubarb leaf, um, although this is the rhubarb. I might actually, um, yeah, I might see if we can pick some because we'll need to stop picking it soon. I spy with my little eye, pink strawberry. Oh, it's already been eaten. Oh, no. Oh, damn. Just as 
because I thought I was getting really, 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 really unhappy because I thought I wouldn't be able to eat a white, a white strawberry, not a pink one, sorry. I found one! And just as I thought I'd be able to eat it, it's got a hole in it, so I'm going to have to wait till I get home and wash it because I don't know what's been in it. Can you see that? Ah. Never mind the pink strawberries. <gasps> just found two red ones that are perfectly fine. And... They're good. Being the nice daughter I am, I've just given Dad one and he's just said it's really good, which it is really, really, really nice. As this sign says, homegrown does taste better. And it's got little strawberries on there too as well. I remembered about this sign. I was like, oh, that's really cool. Fortunately, we don't have a she shed like Clarice. Clarice. However, we do have a couple of signs in our shed, so I'm going to go and show you all the signs. Mermaids welcome. Green Vic. You sparkle. Love. Unfortunately, vlog takeover's finished, but I really enjoyed it. And Dad has done a bit more weeding slash gardening whilst I've been doing the vlog takeover. So that's good. He's um, harvested all of the garlics, I think they were, that were in this bed, and weeded it. He's done a really good job, and he's watered it, because I think he's put the dwarf. What bean seeds have you put in, Dad? The dwarf beans in here. We've got some green ones, yellow ones, and purple ones. Not in that order, I've just pointed randomly. Dad's just been weeding, and he's pulled up a pea plant. We have to over this, I promise, but I've just found a pea pod that has got, I don't know if you can see, I'm trying to show you the shadow of it. It's got some peas in. I'm going to eat it. I think I'll peel it because it's got peas in, but normally I just eat it. <gasps> eat it as it is. I'm really excited. Look how many peas there is. There's one, two, three, four, five, six peas in there. I don't know if you can see, sir, because it's very sunny today. Let's look, they're really nice. Taste test time. Mmm. They are the sweets of the vegetable world. They are honestly amazing. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Right, I promise this is about to take over finish now. Well, takeover's over now. However, I definitely think it's not going to be over for long, so I definitely think I'm going to do it again. Maybe not in this video, but I'm definitely going to do it again. Please put feedback in the comments because I have incredibly enjoyed doing these vlog takeovers, and please tell us if you want more, if you're just a fan of this one off one, or anything like that. I'd love to hear you, well, read your comments and feedback. And I believe Ruby's. Uh been filming some stuff i've not watched it yet but by the time that this gets uploaded i'll have edited it and then i've had a, a look at it also mm -hmm. i just I, I just can't be bothered i just can't be bothered there's too many weeds well it's father's day weekend so you've had a rest yeah Ish. yeah there is that mm -hmm. you picked some fruits though haven't you yes lots of fruit right okay and olivia's helped me plant out some dwarf beans so mm -hmm. there's something to look forward to I picked some garlic. That's where she's planted the dwarf beans, where I picked the garlic from. Uh, I think we're going to go home now and just start getting tea ready and... Have to make a smoothie. Make, oh yeah, you're going to make a smoothie with all yeah. your fruits? Right, and then what do you what do you want to do tonight? Should we watch a film or should we play some of them card games we've got? Play the card games. Play the card games. We've got a Star Wars one, haven't we? Called, um, I got a bad <laughs> feeling about this. In my best Han Solo impression. We've got a Star Wars one. What's the other one we've got? I Dun think Tony would like the Star Wars one, actually. Tony? Which Tony? Um, came to the... Meet Tony from Wigan? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he likes his Star Wars, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. And then we've got one called Dungeon Mayhem. Yeah. So we'll probably have a bit of a ding-dang do with some card games tonight. With a really nice pasta-based tea as well. But flowers on the squashes flowers on the squashes yeah. I don't know if it's picking them up I can't really see the lights too bright yep there is some flowers nice one I think they were the cut two cores yet weren't they mm -hmm. have you got enough strawberries not a lot of strawberries but we've got lots and lots of 
black currants, red currants, and raspberries. Black currants, red currants. All right, sound. She suggested that we pick some of these stalks of chard and take them home, and we'll either freeze them, chop them up, and freeze them, or we'll dehydrate them and store them that way. So, mm -hmm. just she wanted to show you how big these stalks of the white one is. They're really shown quite you impressive, then. Oh, yeah, man. So I'd say just just take two or three off each plant. We'll, we'll have it as like a cut and come again. This little charred patch. How many plants have we got? Four, five. Okay. I am gonna leave my beds till next year and start fresh next year. Yeah. Really You're vegging year. one bed beds. I'm, yes. Uh, yeah. They've still got cardboard on. I think, haven't they? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's okay. It's okay. Get some red one. Looks like the there's, a, there's an orange one here. That looks quite nice. And then mm -hmm. next to the orange one, there's a yellow one as well. So let's have a look at what these orange ones look like. Oh, it's a nice colour, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. It's like a little pigtail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're going to look very nice in there. And, oh, we've got a couple of different ones here. We've got a red one and there's a yellow one next to the orange one. Oh. Going in and in amongst it. Okay. Try and get as much stalk as you can. Pick it like you'd pick the rhubarb. That's hot, I'm going to rip the whole uh, one. Okay, just move, move on to this end one. I'd say that'll do for now, really. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll pop these with the garlics that we've harvested. Um, do you want to see the red wow. onions? I think we planted these in the spring. These haven't been overwintered. Some of them are getting a really good size on them. They're really mm -hmm. bulbing up. Some of them are a bit small. Um, I might have planted them too close together. But, hey-ho, we're not going to starve. Get a nice patch of red onions. Mm -hmm. Doing all right, then. Yeah, they're doing all right. Positive. I think that's the name of the game, isn't it? Speaking of positive, Olivia has got an old pipe, which is trickling just a little bit, and I'm getting a little bit nervous, because if you ever wanted to get your dad, just because I'm your dad and you might want to get me sometimes, now will be a great time for you to do it. <laughs> Ruby, don't whisper do it, <laughs> flipping heck. <laughs> that's the allotment done, we're back in the yard now. It's time to check the comfy feed. <sighs> right, it's had about a month. Um, where's my stirver? There's a few bits in it, but I've got a plan for that. And there's a few bits of stalk which haven't fully rotted. But that's fine. We can reuse the bucket to make some more. See, look, there's a bit of stalk. Hang on. There you go, there's some stalk. Um, so we're going to strain it and bottle it up. Oh, that stinks. Right. So, to do this, I've cut off the end of a plastic bottle. And then into, this is going to be like my funnel and filter, if you will. Into there, I've got a trusty old pair of underpants. I love reusing my underpants. Straight from the 70s. Look at the stains on it, man. That's because I've been using it as a cleaning cloth. So I'm going to bung them into there. And, hang on, where's my stick? Where's my poker? Let's get that down there. And then, if I've worked this out right, this should sit nicely in the top of the bottle that we want to collect the feeding. Oh, perfect. Let's, I don't, I'm not quite sure how we're going to do this because um, I don't know how how much my daughters are going to help me. <laughs> you, how much do you want to get involved? Um, One of you might need to hold that but there's a chance that it could possibly spill onto your hand and make, <laughs> make your hand smell like you've been cleaning toilets. Right, just hold it steady and I'll try and pour it in carefully. Get it, get it. <laughs> Right. I'll do my very best not to get you. 
Uh, this this might take a while, it's got to soak through my undies, hasn't it? That's just like, it's like something out of a rolled doll book, isn't it? What's that one where he makes up disgusting... George's Marvelous Medicine. George's Marvelous Medicine. Oh, I can hear it. I can hear it dripping. <laughs> We've got bubbles coming up, see? So that's good. That either means that it's fermented to the point where it's going to explode and cover you, or it means that it's draining. I think it means that it's draining through. That's why we're getting bubbles. So it's start, just starting to cover the bottom of the bottle. Okay, look, we can top that up a little bit more. Yeah. There's a house brick in here. I just need to be careful I don't tip the brick out. I can see it. Oh, how's the slug survived in there? I don't know. Oh, you enjoying the smell so far? Look at, look at her covering it. <laughs> and I've got a chewing gum in there. And you've got a chewing gummy. Oh, man. Right, this is going to take a while, people, so you don't need to watch the full process, but you get the idea. As for what I'm going to do with the underpants... Um, bin them. Bin them, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we did a little bit of cleaning with him the other day. We, we dust, <laughs> Double bag them and put them straight yeah, out. We dusted the coffee table with him, so they've had a bit of use in their, their second life once I'd stopped using them as undies. You get all the best jobs, Ruby. So while you're... <laughs> I'm not kidding. It, that feed gives us the plants that we've got. It, gives, it makes them bigger and better and stronger and gives us more crop. Mm -hmm. It's fine, so all of the alpines and strawberries that we've got in the um, fridge, I'll just have them, so it's okay. Right, while you're doing that, Olivia and I are going to, we've created some space and emptied a pot. Um, I can't even remember what was in it. Or was it just empty anyway? I can't remember. We're going to plant some more potatoes out, because why not? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> right, hang on, let's sort this camera out. So we've got our trusty homemade compost in a bag so lives mm -hmm. see them lines there yeah i'd just fill it up to about there with a compost are you all right tipping it now the bag it's probably got a bit mucky on the outside of the bag so don't hold the bag against your clothing because you're just going to get mucky and then the i'm going to put two seed potatoes in and these are cara and they are a main crop spud we'll see how they go Can you manage, darling? Yeah. How's that looking? There's plenty of worms in it, isn't there? Yeah, I think that worms. Okay, just get... Where's, where's my comfy stick? Yeah. Break that up a bit. Do you want to stick the seed potatoes in? Yeah. And then while you're doing that, I'll just top up Ruby's bottle a little bit more. You should fill it again. I'll try. Yeah. Do these go down or Um, Chips facing up, darling. Alright, Ace. Right, and then I'd say cover them up. To about there. See if I can draw a line and go. There, can you see where I've drawn a line? Loads of worms, isn't there? Mm -hmm. There you go. Right. Ace. They're well covered. They should start to grow and we've got enough space in the pot to top it up uh, once the, the plants start growing up through it. We'll top it up and it keeps the sunlight off the spuds and it gives it an extra feed as well so we should get even more spuds from it. Right, Ace, nice one. I've used the hand that doesn't have comfrey feed on to get it like this but I have got comfrey feed all over my hand. 
not cool. It's fine though, I'll wash them. We've done another comfy harvest and, and what we're going to do is just chopping it up a bit. And then once Olivia's done that, we're going to put it on the soil of this pear tree, uh, which probably needs better staking and supporting actually. But that's a job for another time. So we're just going to put it on the soil around it, a bit of a chop and drop. And then the, the rest of the comfy that we've just harvested, once the bucket with our liquid feed um, has finally mm -hmm. been emptied, we'll put all this stuff into the bucket and we'll start a new batch. Just washed all my hands off now and found a cheeky alpine that I've missed so. Yummy, yummy, yummy! I picked some alpines this morning and some strawberries and I've put them inside. However, there's some more that I've missed. So I'm going to pick them now. It's the one. Yes. <gasps> Look how big that is. Whoa. That's amazing, that one. Let's see if there's any others. <gasps> that one I could probably pick, actually, because it came off easy. Right. Let's move on to a different one. How about this one? Nah, it's too... I only could find the two you saw me pick, but this one's going a bit mushy, so... Yummy! Just realised I've missed this big one. I think I'll save that one. This is the total amount of comfrey feed we've got. Um, it is, I'm trying to find out how many pints, but I can't. Oh, that's, so that's Maybe about two pints. I, th I think that yeah. was a four pint of milk, so that's about two mm -hmm. pints. Now, we could have got more, but um, the closer we got to the bottom of the bucket, the more bits yeah. were in it, and it was taking longer to strain through. So I've called it a day. We've filled up the bucket with new comfy plants, uh, just put some water in up to where the top of the chopped up comfy leaves were. And then we'll start the process all over again. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked it, click on the like button. But obviously, don't click on it if you didn't like it. Because that would be daft. <laughs>